Hi pals, John here with the Lens Power, and today we're going to talk about the DJI LiDAR rangefinder for the RS3 Pro. This was announced uh, last year when the RS3 Pro was announced, but it didn't come out for a little bit uh, after that, and uh, we have got it in stock for you now. I am actually going to pause that for just a second. So what we're talking about is this thing right here. It's a little hot shoe bracket. There's a quarter 20, so if you're using it on a black magic, you can just go straight in. You don't have to cage up your camera just to get the hot shoe. And then we're talking about this here, this little flat cuboid on top. Now, it's got some incredible tech in there. It has basically stuff technology, high technology, if you want me to go into it, leave a, leave a comment and I will do another video going super in depth into how all of this works. But essentially what we've got here is we've got a normal vision camera and that is sends its signal uh, down this USB-C cable into the gimbal, which then displays it on the screen back here. We have another camera that is capturing the unseeable uh, to the human eye what what's in front of the camera basically what's in front of this unit and then we have a, another thing that is just spraying me currently with a bunch of lasers and what's that what that's doing is it's measuring the time for the lasers to get back to the the unit up here as i you know smack cables around and break things and then it uses that to calculate the distance from this thing to this thing or whatever else you've got in front of it so if i turn the autofocus back on and I'm just going to spin this around here you can see on this camera hopefully that as I move as I move haha <laughs> there we go it is trying to keep my hand in focus and obviously Limitations of the lens only allow me to go up to about a foot or so before I'm too close, but I can go all the way over here and all the way back. Now that's one of the things that this allows you to do. This is a completely manual focus lens. There is no autofocus with this lens until you add in a unit like this. So all of your cinema lenses, whether they're the Canon CNE lenses, the Rokinons, the Rokinon Zines, the Anamorphics, you can hook them all up with this, calibrate it, takes a couple of minutes to calibrate, and then you suddenly have autofocus with your lenses that are not autofocus lenses. If you have classic lenses from the, the film era that don't have autofocus, you know, classic Leica and Zeiss lenses that you're, you've adapted over to whatever mount you're using, EF, PL, whatever, you can make them autofocus with this unit. Absolutely fantastic. That's super incredible stuff, but that's only half of what this does. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to spin this back around. It has picked up me as a subject to focus on. I can see the gears moving as I rock back and forth and now I'm going to press that button once. And what that's done is it's engaged the active tracking on the gimbal. So now the LiDAR is keeping me in focus and its cameras are working together with the motors on the gimbal to keep me within the frame of the shot. So this is actually super clever. I could do this whole thing. I could wave goodbye to Dylan. Don't need you anymore, buddy. Sorry. It's been nice having you here. Um, we're not going to do that. We actually kind of like it. But I could, in theory, do this whole setup to camera all by myself. So if you've got a web presentation and you have somebody who's walking around, if you're doing a conference and you've got somebody who's on stage and is walking around and you want to keep them centered, you can do this without having to hire additional camera crew. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. It's almost like we're living in the present that I was promised when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s. You can store up to three lenses 
in here. So if you've got a big shoot, you can pre-program it with all your lenses, swap them out. Maybe you'll have to rebalance the gimbal, maybe you won't, but uh, you can just easily switch between the lenses by hitting the function button on the side and it will you know, move between one, two, and three. We've been having fun with this. We got it in last week and yeah, it's been, uh, it's been incredibly cool to see everybody's reactions to how this works, not just the autofocusing, but the active tracking as well. It's a very, very cool technology. And even if you have a camera and a lens that has autofocus capabilities, but they're perhaps not the greatest, stick the lens into manual focus, pop this on, and away you go. And yes, I am looking at you, Red Komodo. Sorry to say it, or black magic. This has come in at a great time for us because not only do we have the RS3 Pro gimbal kits out there for you guys to rent, but we recently just lowered the price on our big cinema lenses as well. So there is absolutely no better time to get into using the cinema equipment than right now because you can get cinema lenses, you can get, we dropped the price on a bunch of our cinema cameras as well. Um, FX6 got a price drop, the C100 200s from Canon got price drops. The, Canon Cine lenses, the Rokinon Zines, they all got price cuts re recently. So now you can go out there, you can rent your camera, rent your lens, get the gimbal, get the LiDAR unit, and uh, still not have spent a whole lot of money, if I'm honest. The LiDAR unit is gonna be a separate item for now. If everybody who's renting the RS3 Pro wants the LiDAR unit, then let us know. We will buy in another LiDAR unit. We'll bundle it all together. But if you don't, if you just want the LiDAR unit separate from the gimbal, then we've got you covered with that as well. So there you have it. DJI's LiDAR rangefinder for the RS3 Pro. And cinema lenses. And RS3 Pro. And look forward to our next video where I'm going to talk about what's been lighting me for this one because uh, that's new as well but in the meantime if you have enjoyed this video if you found it helpful informative or you just like looking at new cool tech gadgets consider giving a like subscribe share thumbs up tell a friend smash bell and whatever it is the DJI's team are talking about this week and until next time I'll see you soon